Welcome to the Best Guy Podcast, where we talk about personal development topics and ways we can improve ourselves. On here, we want to be the best versions of ourselves. Hi, I'm MR3, and today our topic is New Year's Evolution. Well, every year we make, or people make resolutions. Do they ever stick with it? Most likely not. But this year, since this is being released on New Year's Day, we're going to talk about New Year's goals that we want. I don't know if you ever had New Year's goals. You might have had New Year's resolutions, but this is going to be different. It's going to be evolution because we're going to evolve from 2022 into our new 2023 selves. How will we do that? That's up to you and how you want to evolve, how you want to evolve and get better. Maybe you haven't read a book. I'm not talking about romance novels or stuff that won't benefit you. I'm talking about things that will edify your mind. And if you're spiritual, maybe your spirit. Maybe you're a Christian, you never read the Bible. That's a great way to start. By... Starting with the book of John as a Christian, this whole thing is not going to be a religious topic today, but this is how I was taught as a Christian, a new believer. I was told to start with the book of John, then go back to Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and finish off in Revelations, then start in Genesis and finish with Malachi. This was from my mentor who is now a pastor. So if you want, you can do that. There are so many uh, great books. You can improve your finances with financial books like The Millionaire Next Door, uh, the Dave Ramsey book, uh, uh, there's so many other books I'm, I I can't think of. I read one by a professional wrestler named who went by the moniker The Game. His uh, wrestling name was Triple H, but his real name is Paul Levesque. His book taught me how to uh, diet on the road uh, and work out. He came from like the lowest and got high, uh, got to the highest point of his career at that point in that book. You might want to check it out if you like biographies. So, but I always look at things that edify. Maybe you have podcasts that you listen to. You can listen to many great podcasts. All you have to do is. If you have an Alexa dot, just act, ask her to play a podcast. And you can look some up on YouTube. There are many more on YouTube. Apple Music. Uh, Spotify has many. Just things that will edify your mind. I'm not saying... We have to constantly be improving ourselves every minute of the day. There's times for entertainment. Usually I use that for the evening. Then I watch some self-improvement channels on YouTube. And you can just look up uh, self-improvement men or women's channel to fit your gender. Then... Workouts, maybe improve your health 
I'm not saying you have to look like a bodybuilder or a fitness model. I'm just saying maybe you can lower your uh, blood pressure levels or in improve your heart rate. Just things like that or maybe lose a few pounds so your body's not aching. Because I noticed that a lot of obese people, uh, they tend to have like back problems because... Uh, someone told me that it's like uh, when you when you're overweight, you're putting more of the weight in front, so it's causing your back to go in pain in your legs. You're putting more weight at the top than at, than dispersing it everywhere. So you might want to lose some weight if you're having body pains, joint pains. Sometimes. The workouts will help you mentally. Maybe you're going through stuff mentally. That's a good therapy. People always say I'm uh, over positive. But these are just some of the things that I do. I'm blind, but uh, I'll listen to an audio book from time to time. Uh, I try to stay healthy. I try to... Uh, listen to autobiographies and stuff that will benefit me. But I also have time for family. I try to make time for my family. Like uh, sometimes my brothers, this past summer we went, uh, we had a cookout. We had a good time. It was just the three of us. It was awesome. And sometimes our family get does uh, get-togethers, like my brother's birthday a few months ago in September. We all had a cookout. Great times. And those are just times you never get back. Then, like, you could work on your finances. If your finances are a mess, you're in debt, or you don't have money in savings, you can increase those by just watching stuff on YouTube or listening to stuff online on a on an app like Spotify or the other ones I named earlier. But you can do all those and improve yourself this year. Start today. Start this month. There are many channels that you can listen to for finances. Maybe frugal living channels. That way you can start living frugally to earn like the wealthy and live like the middle class. So you can get some wealth principles in you. Maybe hang out with more positive people. Maybe if you're coming out of a partying background. If you're doing a lot of drinking and partying. Maybe you want to switch friends, get meet some good friends, maybe go to church, hang out with some people that are living their their best or hang out uh there is a person that told me that her son hung out with people with uh in uh the AA people in there they went to a club that had alcohol, but the AA people hung out together and they didn't drink. So you could have people like that. You know, hang out with people that will have better influence on you. Sometimes that's the best way to do things because just hanging out with people that are more uplifting. If you hang out with broke people, you're going to go broke. If you hang out with uh, alcoholics, you're going to become an alcoholic. Over over time, it will wear uh, it will wear on you. It will wear on you mentally, and it's going to look good. You're going to think they're living a great life because they're partying, they're having fun, but you don't see their finances. You don't see what's happening to their families. But. We all got to make that personal change today or whenever you do it. 
this past uh, uh, Christmas Eve, I made a video or a podcast on the meaning of Christmas. And at the end of that, I did a pretty much an altar call where I gave people a chance to uh, give their lives to Christ. And if they wanted, then they could repeat that prayer. And if you want, you can listen to it. But it's all about making the right choices. You might have blamed your friends. You might have blamed alcohol. You might have blamed drugs. You might blame other things. Maybe your job's hard or you might have excuses. But put those excuses away right now. Because those are the, that's all it is, is nothing but excuses. What you want is to take accountability for your actions, for the things that you've done. Because with, if we don't take accountability, I used to tell people that I was very harsh on people as a mentor. And people actually said they actually agreed with me. And I always said, I know I was a douchebag, but I'm going to change the way I'm going to do things because I knew that I needed to make a change to affect other people's lives because people don't think the way I do. It's just like in my November or my December, sorry, my December uh, podcast, Control Your Own Narrative. I mentioned that in there, that I ha- you can't control people. And as harsh as I was, I knew I couldn't control people. And I had to make a change. I had to make a change right then and there. Because I, that's when it came to me. If I put it off, I know it's not going to happen later if I put it off. Just like in making improvements, making the evolution to become a better version of yourself. It has to start now. It has to start right here. Because if you try to say, I'll do it later, most likely later will never come. My dad always told me that. So when something comes to your head, Maybe you should do it. Maybe you're going through marriage struggles. And you're thinking, I'll go to uh, see the pastor and talk about my marriage later. But now is the best time. Maybe you're not the best you can be right now. But you're going to say, I'm going to drink tonight and work out tomorrow. Why don't you work out tonight? Put off drinking. What has drinking really caused? Nothing. It's just more calories and more things you would have to work off. I don't think drinking's ever fun when you do it to the point where you're blacked out. You don't remember anything and you just think you had a good time. I remember seeing people, even I've done it. You know, you're, you make a fool of yourself, but you think you're having fun, but everyone tells you the stories the next day. When you're awake and you're sober, you find out that, that you did something stupid and you, did, you made a fool of yourself. I've done it, so that's why I can talk about it. I remember quitting cigarettes. I knew they were bad on my health and my chest pains or for my chest because I had problems with my uh, chest. Like I remember when I quit one year because I moved back to my mom's for a few months, I was running and I started spitting out uh, black stuff, which was gross. And what, what is weird is I picked that habit up again. Because I didn't really want to quit. But 
you can hear about how I quit in the Control Your Own Narrative podcast or uh, that episode. But this episode is about improving ourselves, evolving from our 2022 selves. What in your mind do you want to improve in? What have you always wanted to do? Maybe you've just been living off of microwavables, which I did years ago. And then I said, I want to cook. I want to live healthier. So I did. Maybe you have a coffee addiction, which you want to break. I don't know. There are so many things that we can get better at. Maybe you call into sick all the time to work. Maybe you can cut back on that. Maybe you can spend more time with your wife or husband and not work so much and taking every overtime if your finances will prevail. Maybe you can help clean. I know there's a a lot of guys who just say, my wife does all the cleaning. Why don't you get in there and do it too? If she's working and you're working, but she's the only one cleaning, why don't you join along? I see a lot of marriages kind of crumble at that part because the guy's not putting in the help or the wife is not putting in the help. So there's a lot of things we all need to improve on. I'm single, so if my house is a mess, then that's on me. But I try not to. I try to clean the bathroom. I try to vacuum at least once a week. Try to sweep once a week. Try to wash dishes almost every day or almost every after every meal I have. I try to uh, keep up with everything. Sometimes I'm too worn down after a workout. I know times come like that, but we can't just always make excuses. I know there's times that we need a break, vacations, or if you just want to stay home, a staycation, as I learned from a YouTuber on YouTube. But there are so many different things we can improve on. You just have to make that choice of what you want to improve on. So, what can we improve on and the steps we can do? We can always make steps. We can make a plan. Maybe you can write it down. Write down what you want to improve on this year. Maybe it's one thing. Maybe it's two, three, four, five, and we can do all of it within the year. Maybe there's something you want to learn. Maybe you're a person who likes to fix things, but you don't know how to fix things. You can wa- watch uh, uh, DIY videos on YouTube. A lot of people are learning how to do that. Some even build businesses where uh, they are uh, self-contractors and fixing other people's stuff and they make their money like that. Maybe that could be your side job. Make more money. But maybe write out your your goals for the year. Write it out. Put it on a refrigerator. Maybe put a, a magnet on it or tape or something. Or if you have a, a whiteboard, you can put it on there. My brother used to have one of those when he was living with me. But just write it out. Make it real. Don't try to do something crazy like I'm going to lose 100 pounds this year. Just start small. If you're trying to lose weight, maybe you can write up a a nutrition plan for yourself. Or visit a nutritionist and a physical trainer or a personal trainer. And they can help you lose weight. 
But we just have to make the necessary steps. Maybe you can, if you're trying to save more money or improve your finances, you can look at an app. You can check out the Dave Ramsey app or the Mint app or whatever app you want. Those will show you how to budget. But we just got to do the necessary steps. Maybe you want to read the Bible. There's Bible apps on the phone so we don't have to buy a Bible. I mean, buying a Bible is good. That's how I used to love it. And now I listen to audios on the Bible. But as long as I get it in, that's all that matters. So you could do different things. We just have to make the steps. After we make the plan, we act. I was mentioning an NFL coach. His favorite mantra is, do your job, everyone. Here's his players say that all the time. It's all about doing your job. We have to do our job. Follow what we have on our goals. If it's improve your marriage, then maybe you can talk to a marriage counselor uh, or your pastor or maybe a friend that you know, reliable marriage you could speak to him and his wife. I always say don't speak to anybody that has never been married. So I would never give marriage advice because I'm a single man, never been married. But hopefully someday. Maybe that's when I'll give marriage advice, but not today. But... Just do your best at what you can do. Everyone always thinks that you have to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect. If they don't, if it's not perfect, then they don't think it's working. Say you're losing a pound a month. That's better than uh, not losing any weight. Some people lose weight faster. Some people give up because... One person lost 20 pounds in one month and they only lost one pound. But one pound that you lost is still progress. Look at everything you do and see the progress in it. Some people may not, might not see it. I remember when I was uh, gaining weight back in high school because I was naturally really skinny. I was like 90 pounds when I was 14 years old when I first started working out. And when I went to 115, people were like, you're not, I can't really tell. But I was in this, on the scale checking myself and I knew I was making progress. And that's all that mattered. My strength has gone up at that point And I knew that I was getting stronger and I was adding muscle. But you got to look at it from your point of view. You can't look at it at everybody's. If you, don't, if you only lost one pound in one month, people are not going to notice progress. But you'll notice because you saw the scale. Or, you know, if you're quitting drinking, yeah, people are going to notice because you're not at the bar or you don't have alcohol all the time or your breath doesn't smell like alcohol all the time or you're not hungover or your skin doesn't see the... Like you can't see it from on your skin anymore. But you'll notice that you make progress. One thing I noticed when I got older, it was about 30 years old. I got hypertension. And one thing that helped me was a foam roller I got from a friend. And I went to her family's place one year. Uh, they invited me out, and her, uh, her and her husband, at the time, awesome, awesome people, and they showed me the foam roller, and I was like, oh, okay, I thought this is something else, but uh, I learned what a foam roller was, and when I got paid again, I bought me a foam roller. I remember buying one at Walmart. It was $18.
but that $18 was an investment on my health because my blood pressure went down. And after that, because I always experienced body pain when I started hitting 30, then when I hit like 33 to 35, somewhere uh, around there, I thought my body was falling apart and I started using a foam roller and started stretching. And stretching did so much to help my uh, body pains. Then I had to increase calcium. But it was just things that I had to do to improve my health. Sometimes it costs money, but it's all worth it. You could see it as an investment in yourself because I was investing in my health. So sometimes we got to invest in ourselves or we always have to invest in ourselves. That's what uh, reading or listening to podcasts, praying, becoming better versions of ourselves is investing in ourselves because that's our best asset is ourselves. When you start improving, people are going to notice. Maybe you have kids, they'll notice. They'll wonder why you're the way you are. And you can just tell them that you started taking care of yourself and started doing the necessary steps and you can teach them. But again, it has to start sometime. We got to start now. Don't start too late. Maybe your health's just a little bad right now. Maybe you have hypertension. Buy a foam roller. It's going to help. What a foam roller does is like a, it's like a self-massager. It's going to take off tension off your body. It's going to help your blood circulation. Right now, I feel relaxed because I foam rolled this morning. I did my mobility stretches this morning. But it, it helps. Just something like that would help. In case you're having those kind of problems, I don't want to hide it from people that it takes away hypertension it loosens you up I told my brother one time when he came back from work use it before you go to sleep and he foam rolled before when he got home it was late and he told me he just fell asleep on the couch because that's the best time to do it I think the first, when you're going to start to foam roll do it before you go to bed because it's going to help you. It's going to help you sleep that night. And you, if you do it every night, then it'll help you sleep. It's going to loosen your muscles up and your your body's going to be so loose that you'll just fall asleep. So you might want to try that. It helps you sleep too. Or do it before you work out. That's what a lot of people like... Uh, Actor Mark Wahlberg, that's where I first read it. And Triple H, they do it before they work out. But just start somewhere. I hope this motivates you to start maybe improving something. I don't uh, give you goals because you know your own goals. I have my own goals. I try to go through at least five books a year, audio books, because I'm blind. I try to learn how to cook uh, something new from time to time. I try to put out videos as much as I can on TikTok and YouTube. I try to put out a podcast once a month, at least in the beginning. This one is going to be released on January 1st because it's New Year's and it's going to be called New Year's Evolution because I want all of us to be evolving this year. So if you like this kind of content, then give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share this with anyone who you think needs motivation that 
even a blind guy can make a podcast who's living his 2020, 2022 goals. But let's go start today. Let's evolve. Let's evol- evolve into something different this year. Who knows what that is? Only you, you can do that. I'm MR3, and this is The Best Guy Podcast.